everyone, in this video I have a Trimcraft design team package to share with you. Well, at least most of a design team package, I think. Basically, I was up at Trimcraft HQ about a week ago working on some projects and they offered uh, me to take some of my design team package home with me. Um, they weren't all completely packaged up yet, they didn't have all the bits and bobs, but I think I have most of it and most of this collection to share with you. So as you can see, this is the new Fairy Tales collection, which is a Dovecraft premium collection. It's also in aid of the charity Mind. It says a minimum of £10,000 will be donated to Mind from the sales of this collection. Mind is a mental health charity, in case you're not familiar. I'll put a link in the description box in case you're like completely unfamiliar with the charity and interested or anything like that but I think most of you will be familiar with it. So let's just jump straight into the 12 by 12 paper pad which also comes with two pearlescent and two glitter papers and as always with the Dovecraft premium pads you get this sort of initial paper at the front which shows you the entire of you know what's inside the paper pad and as I always say with these I always keep these because I find them really useful for projects in general either cutting them up into strips or even just using this as, a, as if it's one paper kind of thing I just really like them right then so I have actually broken into this paper pad so I'll just put these whoa, aside these are projects you will not see for quite a while I don't think they won't be on my channel but anyways this first paper is just spectacular it is this sort of wooden blue kind of colour if you know what I mean there's this light scripty writing in the background and then these beautiful leaves on the front there are three of each but as you saw I've used one already or part of one this next paper is a light sort of pastely apple -y green I'm gonna say again it's got that scripty writing very very subtly in the background some distressed effects and then glitter fairies butterflies and florals this one is one of my favorites this beautiful distressed pink with again the writing just printed on there like that I love any sort of writing on paper basically any sort of print like that just yeah right up my street then we have a lovely floral paper just how pretty is that it's got that same apple green background and then the pink and blue florals love this one as well this is one of the pearlescent ones hopefully it's showing up a little bit distressed blue and then the sort of moroccan tiles kind of effect and this one is another favorite this is that same blue with the scripty writing print and then we have lots of glitter butterflies on that and as much as i love the background you know i'm gonna fussy cut a couple of these butterflies or more than a couple Next we have again the pink paper, slightly lighter this time actually the pink, again with the writing in the background, really light distressed effect and then the fairies and florals. Another return of the green and the print writing and some other kind of distressed effect as well and the damask pattern. This is a pretty one, I like this one a lot. So we've got the pink, again the writing, I feel like is that writing on every paper? I don't think it's on every single one, but a lot of them, but that makes me happy because I love it. Anyways, we've got the butterfly with a sort of like a uh, square or rectangle of flowery vines around it. That would be really nice to just cut out um, either with a die cut or just hand do it and have it as a topper kind of thing would look really pretty. This is the other paper I've used so far, a lovely blush pink that's got a distressed grid effect on there and grid is another one of my things that I just automatically love on anything so yeah I love it. Back to the green here and just all these beautiful little butterflies and vines going up on a diagonal stripe kind of thing and again really subtle I don't know if it's coming up on camera but that scripty print is really faded printed in the background there for the last paper we've got this purple again with the writing distressed and then lots and lots of fairies on here which definitely gonna fussy cut a couple of these out now I think I've missed one of the pearlescent designs hang on it was this one this was the other pearlescent one it's not a very obvious pearlescent you can just get a hint of it which is why I missed it the first time also my lights and pearlescent don't get on so well but yes that is the other pearlescent design and that one so that was the paper pad which also comes in 8x8 and 6x6 I'm going to assume I don't know that for sure but I'm assuming and then we have a glitter decoupage pad which I will just go through briefly the thing about the decoupage pads that always get me is I always love the background of them as well so I kind of want to like just cut out like tiny little stars or punch out things like that and use them so this is as I said glittered it is very very pretty this whole 
magically vintage vibe i'm yeah i'm very much on board with this the butterfly one there we've got a fairy set here it says loving wishes and lots of now as a lot of you know i often don't do classic decoupage i just tend to use these as embellishments and ephemera on their own i'll do some light decoupage but i very rarely will use the whole like page like you're supposed to so yes I kind of see these a lot of the time as just big packs of die cuts and sentiments really. This one is cute with a little blonde fairy on the toadstool, says for a special friend. Oh, and also look at these teeny tiny butterflies, they pop out as well. Oh, cute. Then we've got Just For You. I really like this one actually, this floral wreath border thing. I'm definitely gonna use that as a frame for something. And thank you very much and little butterflies as well. Oh, I like this one. It's a little more simple than the others, but that's my kind of thing. I think this is my favourite so far. Just that butterfly, similar to the one on the paper pad I was talking about, but you could cut um, the square out and use it as the topper. Well, you've kind of got them pre-done here and they're glittered as well and just yay, lots of butterflies. Then this one has got the little bottles of fairy dust and says make a wish. And again, tiny little butterflies to use. Just love them. Birthday wishes, how pretty is the border on that, that floral glittery border, mm, love it. And the last one is a little fairy with butterfly border and says with love. And again, tiny little butterflies that you can use as like general little embellishments and stuff. Double checking, yes, that was the last one. So that is the decoupage pad. Now there are lots of embellishments and accessories that come with this collection. As I said at the beginning of this video, I didn't get my whole design team package because as I said, they were still packaging them up. I don't know if there's more of this collection to come. If there isn't, there's a couple of bits that I do want to purchase as well because some of the embellishments outside of the ones I already have are really pretty as well. But anyway, to the point, we have uh, six pieces of A5 glitter card that match the collection beautifully. There is a light silver, which has almost got a bluish hint. This beautiful pink, isn't that lovely? And then a sort of champagne vintagey gold there and you get two of each color. We have 35 mini pegs in beautiful colours to match the collection. I love that greyish purple colour there in particular. And then, yeah, five one metre ribbons. That says, oh, I believe in fairies with love. The green butterfly butterflies. And then look, glitter ribbon. Yay! A die set and a little stamp. The three steel dies. We've got the fairy, the butterfly, and something, a little um, sentiment that says, with love, that you can see. You can see it a little better on the back there. I think I want to cut out that fairy with the, um, the glitter card. I think that will look beautiful. And the stamp is just a cute little fairy with the butterfly as well. Let me see if I can get... I'll take it out because the... Um, the mine sticker is covering her up just a little bit. There you go, you can see the whole thing there, hopefully. Then we have these brilliant little shaker stickers here. So four bottles that say fairy dust and then two round ones green with a fairy inside. And they're obviously like squishy stickers with little star sequins inside. That's one of the things that I definitely need to get my hands on is the sequin pack from this collection because it's all tiny little pink um, sort of iridescent fairies kind of thing and they are so beautiful. And then finally what I have from this collection is the 84 Pieces Glitter Sticker Book. I'm thrilled they have done this because, well, I just love me a sticker book, really. So look at all these, especially those little vine ones there. I love those. And you get two of each design, which is just flipping perfect. I just, oh, those butterflies there and all the glitter. I just love this book so so much loads of different things to use here and then this last page those two butterfly sort of wreath border stickery things oh i love them so much and so yes that is everything i have from fairy tales and i just have two more bits to show you you are probably already aware of the Dovecraft mirror card that comes in silver, rose gold and gold and it's absolutely beautiful and I just love using it in all the projects. But now we also have this card. We have the Mermaid and Unicorn pack, Tropical card pack and Rainbow card pack. So I'm going to open these up so you can see all the colours properly. Obviously they are very, very, very shiny so my lights 
may do a lot of reflecting of things like my face and the ceiling and stuff like that so I do apologize for that so you get one of each color in this mermaid and unicorn pack this beautiful purplish blue color what is that that's like a silver but it's not at the same time it's so pretty that pink gorgeous oh look at that turquoise <gasps> delicious a very bold pink a blush pink that what is that color as well I think oh actually when I move them I see different colors so who knows what you guys are seeing on camera right now that's actually more of a gold that is a bluish silver and then we have a dark tea turquoise as well oh my goodness how pretty next up is the tropical card pack again eight colors one of each so we've got a beautiful tropical blue a very strong yellowy gold there another very bold pink oh look at that green oh that is beautiful there is a see at the, when i look at it in one light it's navy and then in another light it's purple i just don't know and then we've got a darker green a lighter blue and another green as well oh this is also pretty i can't cope and lastly there is the rainbow card pack and i'm telling you right now i don't think my camera is gonna like this at all because it's got like those lines movie lines things i can't think of the proper name for that but yes again eight colors one of each oh, i forgot to say they're all 250 gsm so we've got the pink the red the green oh wow those are something else there's blue yellow pink dark blue and purple just goodness me however i'm just going to be really sad for a second and uh put them in more of a rainbow order if uh, if you if you don't mind i'm just gonna dun, 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 dun. okay that's better random unrelated question when you put things in rainbow order do you put pinks before the red or after the indigo and violet because i see people doing both things and i'm never quite sure which is the right way to do it but yeah let me know what you do when you do put things in rainbow order because i never quite know where to put the pink because everyone puts it in different places anyway as i said sorry that was unrelated all right then so that is the beautiful dovecraft fairy tales collection and embellishments and then of course these incredible card packs which are just oh i love them so much so i will of course leave links in the description box as to where you can buy all this stuff from i try um wherever possible to give you an option of places to buy for so maybe amazon hobbycraft craft dash like different places so it's up to you so you can search around for you know the best possible prices yourself or if you have somewhere you've got a gift card from or just prefer to buy from then there you go thank you so much as always for watching please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video chat to me in the comments let me know if you have any questions or anything or if i forget to link anything or anything like that then let me know and yeah okay i'm gonna go okay thank you so much again bye